Hello and welcome to Mobile World Congress and I'm joined here by Rick Fulweiler who's the Chief Solutions Architect at NetScout. Uh, Rick, can you just tell me a little bit about NetScout first? Sure, Ken, more than happy to. So NetScout's about a billion dollar software based company. One of the things that we specialize in is selling our service assurance applications along with our security applications to two different types of verticals. One being the enterprise market space and the other one being the service provider market space. So as you're talking to your customers, what are the main challenges they have to address? So I, I think in, as you see around this yeah. show, one of the major challenges that we're hearing from a lot of our customers mm -hmm. is the fact that the ARPU is not going up, which is a huge challenge for them, but the amount of data, especially as 5G starts rolling out, is going up by an order of magnitude. So you look at the over-encompassing part of that, along with the fact that now 5G is coming out, virtualization is now going to be a huge part of that. That's a huge challenge for them. Now they're missing the visibility into the virtualized network. They have to also support 5G, as they're now seeing the ARPU not going up. So a huge challenge for them right now. Yes, so you mentioned NFV and 5G. So how, how complicated does it get for your customers when we talk about virtualization and 5G? So it, it's extremely complicated. Yeah. In, in fact, when you look at just 5G in itself, it's kind of a journey more than it is actually yeah. kind of as it was in the 4G or 3G network, I just put out a couple new components and all of a sudden I have a new network. From a NetScout perspective, we kind of see this as kind of a walk, crawl, run kind of environment, or crawl, walk, run kind of environment. In that, as 5G rolls out initially, it's only going to change on the, on the RAN side, but we won't see much changes on the core. But as we get more complicated into the walk phase, what we're seeing is there's this funny thing called cups, where they're splitting the user plane and the control plane away, right? And at the same time, we're starting to now add edge-based computing. Then on top of that, as we start seeing the final phases, things are going to be kind of decomposed into micro-based services. Then we're going to see virtualization really start to pick up. Yeah. And I think the visibility mm. in that virtualization space is a huge concern right now for a yes. lot of the carriers we're talking to. Because in the traditional world, if you're looking at an MME, yeah. speaking to an S gateway, which would be an S11 based interface, you could physically pull out a cable, stick it into our monitoring system. We could yes. see that today. In a virtual world, there is no cable. There's nothing yes. there, right? It's all virtualized, we can't see it. Yes. So one of the things that NetScout brings to the table yeah. is the ability to see that, right? How do we see inside of that mm. virtual space yes. and how do we bring that out to our service assurance yes. application? Well, you touched on the cloud and that's mentioned millions of times here at Mobile World Congress, but how do you find operators are adapting to this virtual multi-cloud environment? Right, yeah. right. So th that's, that's a really interesting question. Yeah. In fact, what we're seeing, it really depends upon the, the tier level and the size of the service providers. Mm. Some of the service providers are actually doing kind of roll your own. Mm. We're seeing a lot of service providers working with open source code. Mm. For example, what we're seeing inside of at t with, with Airship, which is kind of a, a, a container-like delivery mechanism, yeah. right, for mm. cloud as your service type yeah. of architecture, right? Mm -hmm. They're putting a lot of effort into the building that themselves. Mm. We're also seeing a lot of the NEMs playing a key role mm. in this too. Yeah. Them themselves working with the service providers that don't have that level of expertise yeah. to build that cloud ar architecture for them. Yeah. And at the same time, we're seeing some of the large SIs playing a key role in that too. Sure, sure. Now, service, service assurance, you touched on it earlier, but how does that change in, in the cloud, you know, cloud transformation, service assurance, that's a big issue. It is, it, yeah. it really is. And in fact, as I stated before, mm -hmm. this visibility, yes. this is really the key, right? Is how do I see yes. inside of that cloud? Yes. And when we talk about a cloud inside of a, a carrier, they really have two different sectors, right? They have the enterprise part of that, where they're doing lifting and shifting of applications back into probably a, a public type of cloud of environment. Yes. And on the other side of the house, now they have to also maintain a private cloud right, yeah. for the telco side of that too, right? So, and actually, sometimes it's actually two different separate types of architectures. So, one of the key things that NetScout did is we have a partnership with VMware. We've done some specialized types of plug-in so we can bring that visibility in VMware. Right. We've also done some really cool things inside of the OpenStack. We have a Neutron plugin so we can see inside of that. We've done some great partnerships with AWS Azure. We've done some partnerships with uh, Microsoft inside of their, mar uh, their market space. So literally today, if you wanted to do visibility in yes. inside of that environment, you could go to their marketplace and download our capability yes. and bring that visibility back to our service assurance application. Yes, you mentioned visibility a lot there. And you're pushing this concept of visibility without borders. Yes. Maybe just explain a little bit more about that. Sure, yeah. sure, uh, more than happy to, yeah. Ken. 
in fact, the concept in itself is somewhat simple, yeah. but the journey to get there is extremely difficult, right? In fact, one of the things that we brought to the table is if you think about the transition from SS7 yes. to 2G, to 3G, to 4G, to 5G, yes. that in itself is crossing multiple different chasms or borders at the same time, right? Yes. And now the other additional border that's being brought into it now is the cloud-based environment. Yet another difficult border that needs to be the cross. This is one of the things that we bring to the table, is how do we have that visibility? How do we look inside of the of interfaces we couldn't see in the past? Thus yeah. gives us the fact that we have visibility without any borders, yeah. right? In okay. the end, service assurance, ran the core, and now deep into the cloud. Okay, Rick, it's been great talking yes, to you. Thank you very much. Yes, appreciate it, thank you. Cheers, bye-bye.